The Cape of Good Hope, the southwestern tip of Africa. A rugged cliff shrouded in legend. This is where an adventure begins that few people will ever experience. An epic train journey. One that fills the great dream of crossing Africa by rail. A journey that will open up new worlds. Those who take this trip will be richly rewarded with once-in-a-lifetime experiences and scenes of breathtaking beauty. Final approach into Cape Town with a magnificent view of the city's iconic landmark, Table Mountain, a spectacular backdrop to South Africa's lively metropolis on the Atlantic. Cape Town's restored harbour district, the Victoria and Alfred waterfront. Here, smart restaurants and cafes rub shoulders with stylish shops, a popular destination for well-heeled locals as well as tourists from around the world. For those who have enough time, a trip to the rugged coastal scenery of the Cape of Good Hope provides a welcome contrast to Cape Town's cosmopolitan atmosphere. Evening on Signal Hill. Sunsets in Cape Town are amongst the most beautiful in the world and set the perfect mood for a very special adventure. The train journey with Robos Rail winds its way through South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia and Tanzania. 6,100 kilometers from Cape Town to Dar es Salaam on Africa's tropical eastern coast. It's early in the morning and the red carpet is being rolled out for the guests. Rowan Foss greets them personally. The South African businessman is the founder of Rovos Rail and has turned it into the most luxurious private train in the world. All the result of the meticulous demands of the owner himself. Well, the train was designed originally as a, as a private home caravan for my family and that of course was the direct reflection so the royal suites as they are today was what I thought my wife and I would enjoy with the bathroom en suite and then the, for the kids we put them into the deluxe suites we put the dogs you know down in the, in the guards van in a, in a special place and we had place for the motorbikes and other things like that because I got four dreadful kids you know and um, we had all the animals with us so as a moving caravan of four carriages that's how the the whole thing started. Today the train has more than 20 carriages as it starts its long trip from Cape Town. The journey first takes us through the luscious green fields of the Western Cape and later through the craggy valleys of the Hex River Mountains, 
mostly at a leisurely pace of 50 kilometers an hour. The baggage has already been stowed and the dining car is serving lunch. The top quality service and the gourmet three-course menus ensure that every meal is a culinary delight. The visual feast on the plate is matched by the spectacular views from the dining table. All drinks on the trip are included. Each course is accompanied by specially selected wines and of course Rovas has only the finest South African wines on board. The train travels straight through the heart of one of the most famous wine-growing regions of the world. In August, it is still cool in this region of South Africa, but there is already a breath of spring in the air. There are approximately 150 wineries in the valleys around the towns of Franschhoek and Stellenbosch. Some of the estates can trace their roots back to the 18th century, but South Africa's winemaking industry really only took off after the end of apartheid. Today, South African wines must meet stringent quality controls and the bottles aging in the cellars here, whether Chardonnay, Shiraz or Pinotage, are highly cherished by wine connoisseurs around the world. The products of South Africa's 300-year-old winemaking expertise and its exquisite cuisine can all be found on board the luxury train. For example, in the form of an excellent glass of red wine in the lounge car. Outside, the countryside has changed. The train is now traveling through the Great Karoo. The semi-desert stretches some 750 kilometers from east to west in South Africa's elevated plains. The train almost seems like a model railway set in this vast, isolated, almost uninhabited plateau. With its sparse vegetation and rocky hills, it is an uninviting, empty region, best traveled through in the comfort of your car on Rovos Rail. A quick look at the compartments. The Royal Suite lives up to its name. It offers a roomy 16 square meters and takes up half of an entire car, the very epitome of elegance and style, the ultimate in luxury for rail travelers. The ensuite bathroom not only has a shower but also boasts a Victorian bathtub, a personal touch, all to founder Rohan Voss's own taste. Passengers will also be more than comfortable in the deluxe suites and like all compartments on the train, they too have their own bathroom. Travelling in style is the motto of Rovos Rail's premier luxury train, the pride of Africa. The observation car with its own bar and open air balcony makes a fitting end to the train. From the comfort of the open deck, Africa's dramatic flora and fauna are close enough to touch. 
Meanwhile, the train has covered almost 1,000 kilometers. In the lounge car, the multilingual tour guide gives interesting and informative lectures. Right now, he is giving a talk about a place that plays a very special role in South Africa's history. The next stop on the trip, Kimberley. The Big Hole is a relic of Kimberley's Diamond Rush era. From 1871 till 1914, when mining ended, some 2,700 kilos of diamonds were extracted from the mine. Among them, some of the most expensive stones in the world, such as the yellow Tiffany diamond. Also worth visiting is Kimberley's open-air mine museum with many original buildings. The rich history of the mining town in which some 50,000 hopefuls sought their fortunes is still tangible. It almost seems like a western and no doubt there were many scenes that could have come straight out of the movies during the high point of the Diamond Rush here in Kimberley. Even today, there are still a few hopeful prospectors, although the mine has been officially closed for almost 100 years. The journey continues as Rovos Rail heads north. The next destination is Pretoria, South Africa's capital. After the excursion, the passengers make themselves comfortable in the observation car with a snack and something to drink. It's late afternoon and everything is bathed in golden sunlight, an African fairy tale. A train journey through picture book landscapes. The view on the waters of Camphers Dam offers an extraordinary spectacle of nature. Thousands of flamingos form pink-colored ribbons along the banks of the lake, an intoxicating sight. Arrival in Pretoria. Not with any locomotive, but with this old-timer from 1948 out of Rovos Rail's very own historic rail station. The heart of every train enthusiast beats in time with this historical steam engine 
when the pride of Africa chugs into its home station, Capital Park. The headquarters of Rovos Rail also has a train depot for restoration and maintenance, as well as a magnificent reception area for the passengers set in a colonial train station, all privately owned by Rowan Foss. This is where he invites his guests to an exclusive lunch, an honour reserved only for Rovos passengers. Those who want to immerse themselves in railway nostalgia can take a look at the lovingly restored collection of old locomotives. Each engine has its own story. The oldest one was built in 1894. Rowan Foss and his team have breathed new life into the old timer. All the locomotives have got names, they're all named after his family. So it's Brenda, Bianca, Tiffany and Sean, that's his four, his four uh, children. Um, one named after his uh, wife Anthea and uh, then the second last one was named after his uh, mother Marjorie. Um, and the last locomotive that we built, uh, I think we've run out of family names, so Rowan decided to call it after uh, his Dalmatian, his dog. And the name of that locomotive is Zog, King Zog. It's been over 25 years since Rovos Rail started as a crazy idea before growing into a company with more than 300 staff. In Capital Park, old carriages from the 20s and the 30s are carefully restored to their original glory. These lucky finds come from all over Africa and it's hard to believe that they can be rebuilt to the original standards of colonial luxury. As well as having a passion for rail travel, Rowan Foss is also an animal lover and collects ostriches and other stray animals. All the stops are pulled out for the departure from Capital Park. Sean the locomotive lets off a good amount of steam for the guests, then after the show, chugs gently back into the train depot. The journey continues for the adventurers. The next station is at the Madikwe Game Reserve. an elephant herd in search of water. During the dry season, elephants are regular visitors to the few water holes on the 75,000 hectare game reserve. For the Rovos guests, a perfect opportunity to observe the animals up close. The visitors can enjoy their coffee on a deck while the young bulls test each other's metal. A memorable start to the day. After half an hour, the herd has had enough and disappears back into the bush. The guests can now look forward to two days of safari. The rooms leave no wish unfilled. The individual chalets of the first-class lodge blend harmoniously with their surroundings. They offer a luxurious ambiance in the middle of the African wilderness.
off on safari in an open four-wheel drive. The question on everyone's lips, what animals will they see and photograph today? Darren, Darren, Darren. The experienced rangers want to show off the richness of Africa's wildlife to their visitors, but there is never any guarantee. Today, they are lucky. Ranger Bill has seen something in the thick undergrowth. A square-lipped rhinoceros, also known as a white rhinoceros. And the photographers get even luckier. The two-ton colossus crosses the road directly in front of them. Many of Africa's larger species can be found in the Medique Game Reserve. Altogether, there are an estimated 12,000 animals here. It is a magical moment for everyone to be able to observe the animals in their natural habitat. The visitors have ample opportunity to enjoy the rich variety of Africa's wildlife during the many game drives. Late in the afternoon, the rangers make a very special discovery and have to steer their four-wheel drives through thick undergrowth. A group of lions is resting in the bush. Face to face with the powerful cats, the two species size up each other. Only a few meters separate man and beast. A short while later, and at a safe distance from the lions, it's time for a sundowner to cap the exciting safari. Surrounded by peacefully grazing zebras, the game drive comes to an end. It would be tough to top this day packed with nature's wonders. But then comes the spectacular African sunset. from four wheels back to the tracks. The train is now being pulled by a diesel locomotive. It has just crossed the border into Botswana and is now making its way through the dry savanna of the Kalahari Desert. The guests are once again back in the hands of the Rovos personnel and are enjoying their midday meal in the rolling five-star hotel. What the cooks managed to put on the plates from the train's kitchens seems like nothing less than sorcery. 
After the meal, it's time to relax in the suites or in the lounge car. Arrival at one of the most important stops of this African journey, the small train station at Victoria Falls. The passengers of Rovos Rail are greeted by the traditional dancers of the Shangan. The locals call the Victoria Falls the smoke that thunders. The mighty clouds of spray are all part of this awe-inspiring spectacle of nature. Huge volumes of water cascade from the Zambezi River to the gorge over 100 meters below. Depending on the season, it could be up to 10,000 cubic meters of water a second. The world's widest waterfall hangs over the cliff face like a huge curtain. And if all that weren't impressive enough, you can still take a private helicopter tour. Inside modern customized Bell helicopters, the passengers swoop along the Zambezi River until the magnificent cliffs are reached. The bird's eye view of the UNESCO World Heritage Site presents intoxicating perspectives. The Victoria Falls is located on the three corners of Zambia, Zimbabwe and Botswana. From here, the Rovos Rail Group travels by bus to one of the most famous national parks in Africa, the Chobe National Park in Botswana. A boat safari late in the afternoon on the Chobe River. From the water, the guests can observe the diverse wildlife. The park is particularly famous for its large herds of elephants. Hippos, giraffes, kudus. The variety of species here is almost unparalleled and the view from the boat particularly scenic. The crowning glory to the day, sunsets over the river.
the next night will be spent in an idyllically situated lodge on the banks of the river Chobe. Back at the Victoria Falls train station, Rovos Rail sets off on its journey once again. The locomotive engineer has a thrilling task ahead of him. In a few minutes he will drive his train over the famous Victoria Falls Bridge at walking pace. The British civil engineering feat spans the Zambezi at a dizzying height of almost 130 meters. Rovos Rail is the only train service which makes a short stop in the middle of the historic bridge, allowing the passengers to alight and enjoy the magnificent view. In the background, the waterfalls thunder continuously. In the foreground, the daunting steel structure dating from 1905 arches over the gorge as a monument to man's architectural genius. A true highlight, not only for rail enthusiasts. The journey continues as the bright red locomotive pulls the luxury train into the Zambian interior. Some of the rail tracks here date back to colonial times. It is here that the unique pioneering spirit of a train journey can be best felt. The travelers are now passing through the heart of the African continent through a world that couldn't be further away from their daily lives at home. Rivers, fields, never-ending horizons. The train is moving through landscapes that you can't take your eyes off. Just north of the Zambian capital Lusaka, the rail line branches off towards Tanzania. Soon the train will have covered some 4,000 kilometers two-thirds of its journey. In southern Tanzania lies the town of Makambako. Here it's time for the train and its passengers to take a little breather and a stroll through town. For the train passengers, it's another opportunity to get to know the people and their country. Two completely different worlds meet, and the curiosity on both sides is immense.
There is no tourist program, just a glimpse into authentic everyday life here. And that makes the short visit especially fascinating. The luxury train's arrival is a real event for the local inhabitants. It only stops in the town a few times a year. One of the reasons the town's children give the departing train such an exuberant farewell. In the distance, the foothills of the Mbeya range are clearly visible. From now on, the diesel locomotive will have its work cut out. For several hours, the twin 3,000 horsepower engines will have to drag their burden of many tons uphill. A real endurance test. The landscape here is particularly varied. The train winds its way over twisting passes, alongside steep cliffs, past many traditional villages and through numerous tunnels. A real joy for train enthusiasts as this stretch affords them an ideal view of their elegant luxury train amid the fierce beauty of the African landscape. Meanwhile, the train has started its journey downhill, through the valleys of the Udzungwa mountains, towards the Tanzanian lowlands. It's a little like the final farewell to a grande dame, as Rovos Rail gleams under the spotlight of the African sun. This is the last time that the passengers will experience this magical atmosphere. The golden African light that makes everything it touches so fabulously beautiful. One final time they can admire the sunset, this riot of colors on the horizon the reflection of all that makes this African trip so special. For the Rovos passengers, this dream journey is coming to an end. But they will often dream of these moments in the future. The last stage of the journey takes place during the night and early hours of the morning as the train makes its way through the Salus game reserve to the end of the line in Dar es Salaam.
arrival in the Tanzanian capital. The local police orchestra greets the far-travelling Rovos guests with a little marching music. A colonial fanfare for an extraordinary feat. In the space of over two weeks, man and material have been transported over 6,000 kilometres across Africa. The pride of Africa has earned every syllable of its name and has brought its guests safely and in ultimate comfort to their destination. And they are the ones responsible, the 30-plus Rovos staff. The train manager and her cheerful team. The carriage personnel from the restaurant. The bar, the kitchen and the train's laundry. All have done their bit to make this trip what it is. A journey by rail in the most luxurious train in the world. <laughs>